Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video. As you guys know the title, we'll be talking about, <laughs> you know, I said this really happy, <laughs> but honestly, we're talking about the worst makeup I feel was released in um, 2024. Okay, let me specify, let me clarify, let me um, make sure you guys are right. <laughs> so I'm saying calling it the worst makeup released in 2024 because I can't say like horrible products, but also like products that like are kind of like okay, but not the worst. Like, you know what I mean? Like I can't get into too much detail, so we're just blanketing and calling the worst. But there are some products that are definitely genuinely just not my cup of tea. Like I just don't like them. There are products that I know um, there are better out there. So like whether this product is good or not, it's just there are better out there. So you don't need to spend the money on products that are way too expensive for what they are. Like that kind of stuff, that kind of vibes. Um, so this is just um, you know, kind of uh, what I went through my collection and what I had. So I've not tried every single product that's released in 2024, obviously. Um, but I still thought it'd be fun and fresh. So I did do the best makeup released in 2024 um, last week. So if you have not seen that, I would definitely check it out. Um, but if you want to watch these, please, if you're going to be a hater and like <laughs> thumbs down this video or something, just don't even watch. Like, just don't watch because like I don't need that kind of negativity in my life. Um, but if you're obviously like here to actually hear my genuine opinion and you're not going to be mad at my opinion, um, then <laughs> definitely give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and without further ado, let's just get started. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know if I can have to go in a specific order, but we could start with like foundation. I only have the one. So this is actually the Makeup Forever HD Skin Hydro Glow Foundation. I know a lot of people love this and a lot of people hyped it. This is the reason why I bought it because it was like one of the two products that were mentioned in Sephora VIB sale recommendation over and over and over and over again. I saw it like at least six times and I was like, that's insane. People love this foundation. I This is one of the cases where it's not a bad foundation, but I definitely think that there are better. I think this one, from the way I, like, you know, I, I'm not, here's the thing. I know that there are like, you know, some people use this specific primer with this specific foundation and like blah, 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 blah. I just use like what I use in general. So I always am using like my NYX um, Glow, my NYX Serum Primer or like my, um, like I have my go-to combos for sure. But like if I'm going to wear like any primer, I want to expect it to uh, work with like most of my foundations so I know for a fact though I've only worn my like tried and true primers with this and I still feel like this foundation kind of sits on top of the skin it's not gonna melt so much into your skin and I know I think I've met like I saw like one other person who didn't like this foundation and she was like I know I'm like in the minority here and I'm like I think I'm with you girl um it's just not they're just prettier and I do think like you know it is again it's not the worst foundation in the whole wide world no but I definitely think compared to all the other ones that came out this one's definitely bottom tier so like I even think the Glossier is better um that I've tried recently and they're like very similar foundations <laughs> medium coverage like natural like hydrating but like this natural glow like very similar and I think the Glossier is better um there's plenty that I think are better than this one and so I wanted to mention it if you're one of those girlies who don't like this foundation you are not alone so don't feel like you're alone <laughs> I just think that uh, you can get a mini in this which is nice compared to all the rest of them but I just think that this is one of those like overhyped products that is not very good Sue me. Sue me. <laughs> All right. Then we have the Say um, Concealer. I actually started talking about this in my favorites, and I was like, what the heck? So I had to delete that, like, whole section. I was like, why did I do that? I don't know. Um, but I really wanted to make sure I was mentioning this. This is the Say. It's the Slip Tin Concealer. I just feel like this concealer is just okay. Again, it's not, like, it doesn't make your under eyes look hideously ugly, whatever. Like, if you have it, I don't think, like, you should be afraid of it. But I also think that it doesn't help. It's like, it's not going to, like make your under eyes look better or like well like I don't know like enhance anything it just is there I don't it just it's just there literally it just adds color to your under eyes and and that's it so I'm like I get I guess you know if you're into that if you're like my under eyes are perfect I just want to add like brightening then maybe this is for you because I don't feel like it's not gonna like smooth out the area or like you know add hydration like I feel like it's not drying but I just again I feel like it's middle of the road like just okay definitely not worth the price definitely not need don't need to like run out and get it but i also don't think i'm like gonna run to like declutter it you know what i mean although i really don't genuinely don't use it that often unless like i'm like oh crap i haven't used this in a hot minute let me use it i feel like that with that one too too much is too much so you want to make sure you're putting a small amount and then again it just looks like okay it's just like okay 
okay. <laughs> um, and so, I, like, I saw someone else actually, um, I don't remember her name. She, like, reviewed it and kind of said something similar. And I was like, yeah, that's a great way to put it. It's just okay. And then she kind of was like, yeah, so if it's just okay, then it's bad. And I was like, honestly, I feel, I feel that. Like, if it's just okay, then I feel like there are definitely other ones that you would, that you should get before this one. You know what I mean? I like to, I want, I like to reiterate that, like, you know, um, if you have it or you were eyeing it or like, you know, something along the lines of you ended up with it and now you don't or someone like gifted it to you or like you really just want to try it. Like I want to reiterate that it's not going to be the world's ugliest foundation or anything like that. Um, so like you may be, I don't, I don't know if I've seen anyone really love this concealer, but you may be one of the people who like just end up, you know, using it. You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes sense. Okay. All right, then we have some cheek products. So this one is gonna, <laughs> it's okay. I'll explain what I mean, but we have the By Mario um, Soft Scope Bronzing and Shaping Serum. I like this. I just feel like it's, we really, <laughs> we really were like, oh my God, like not, I mean, yes, I fell for the hype. I bought it, but like, I feel like it was just stupid. <laughs> It does end up looking nice, but I think that there are so many other products that do just this that, like, I really don't see the nece necessity for this. And then it's freaking, how much product do you get? One fluid ounce, which is basically a foundation, which I'm like, this is going to take forever for me to use up. And then obviously I paid whatever I paid for it. Like, I guess it's nice that it has, like, the, um, you know, the doe foot and then the pump. Like, I guess that's cool, especially if you're, like, a makeup artist. Um, but I feel like this is not, like, this is, like, not... I don't know. I just feel like it's only for meant for like specific people because if you're meant if you're really wanting to like bronze up your skin or like sculpt your skin or whatever. First of all, I think it says sculpt, but I don't think there are any are like cool tone shades for like contour. Um, so if you're looking to just like bronze up your face, I feel like it's so light that this is already the shade medium, and I feel like it's so light that like you're gonna have to shade up. Like I just feel like it's 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 just not necessary. I feel like it's not necessary, okay? And so, yes, it's good and it's fine. Like, if you're someone who has, like, a foundation that's too light for you, um, and if you're, um, and you're looking for just to, like, bronze up your skin, but you don't want to, like, you know, use a foundation mixer, or if you don't want to use one of your other 20 cream bronzers, like, that is good. But again, it's like, there are other stuff out there. I believe I said this when I reviewed it. I honestly love the Soft, soft Sculpt Transforming Skin Enhancer better. I'm wearing it today and I just think it's so flawless and um, it just, it, 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 it blends like a dream. It is so, so foolproof. I also, that's another thing, like I feel like it's a lot of work. Like obviously it's a little, a little doe foot so it's not that much but if you pump it out like that's a lot of work for me um, and then like, I don't know. I just feel like, no, is it the end of the world, the worst product? No. And I know a lot of people are loving it, but I, I, the, my prediction is that in two, three months, <laughs> everyone's going to forget about this. <laughs> like there are those products that people uh, become their staples and they talk about for months and months and months. This is one of those hype products that's going to go viral, blah, 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 blah. And then in a couple months, they're going to stop talking about it because it's a, not an extra step because obviously some people use like, um, cream bronzer but I honestly feel like it might be an extra step because it's not the most bronzing <laughs> I don't I'm like oh gosh I'm like I could talk about that forever like it's not not the end of the world it's not bad um if you feel like that pro that step is missing in your collection if you need like a liquid bronzer or you want like a almost a bronze enhancer like it's not gonna be overly bronzy or like dark um something that's just gonna enhance your natural bronze if you're if you're missing that in your collection go for it if you're not you don't need it and don't let people tell you you need it <laughs> let's get that straight all right let me talk about these together um these are the maybelline sun-kissed uh, uh products so i have the shade electric bronze in the shade city sizzle um these are like shimmery i don't know i guess they're yeah shimmer metallic um liquid uh they're called blushes liquid blushes but obviously this one's brown, so I use this like as a contour. Um, and I honestly just have to, I just feel like the formula, it's like a missed opportunity because I feel like these could have been so, so good. I honestly think they needed to reduce the like glitter, shimmer, whatever the heck that is in there. If they want to make it glowy, that's completely fine with me. I have some glowy ones that are stunning. And uh, um, just let me put that out there. So I feel like they just have too many particles in this where it ends up like, 
uh, sticking to texture it ends up looking patchy and like adhering to different spots in your skin because like if you've ever seen glitter you put it on it doesn't blend out like it stays on or glitter or whatever it is shimmers and so I feel like this like was a missed mark like that was they were aiming they could have done something so big with these and obviously like we have a lot of liquid products and stuff but I feel like these being like that they're shimmer or like more uh glowy would have been so perfect but because of those like particles it just almost ruins it um and so it's hard to like even show you but uh like they're just so particly and I really like hate to not like these but um I don't know. Um, L'Oreal has like a, a version that's kind of similar to these where it's a little bit more, I don't want to say shimmery. Shimmery is like the wrong word, but I guess it's like more metallic. I guess it is like shimmers in the formula. Like I guess it's like, you know, like shimmer in the formula. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess they are shimmery. I, I think L'Oreal has a, a version, but I didn't pick it up um, because I just, it's not like my go-to, but their L'Oreal's like matte or L'Oreal's version without shimmer is so good so I'm gonna assume that those may be better <laughs> I don't know but these are just like you don't need them you really don't uh, it sucks because like I really wanted to like those and I don't know I don't know I did want to mention this as well I know everything freaking goes viral and people are like obsessed but like this is the Giorgio Armani luminous silk cheek tint I got the shade 62 these are just okay. There are 112, okay, there are like a bajillion <laughs> better liquid blushes out there. Like a bajillion. Like e.l.f. one, um, even the Say ones, like there are better high-end ones, there are better drugstore ones than this. And I'm like, it just bothers me that people are like, oh, buy this or whoever is wearing this, so now everyone has to buy it. And I'm like, guys, we're falling for the hype. We did, again. <laughs> we got um, bamboozled. And I'm like, we gotta stop this, like, cycle of people loving products and we're like, oh yeah, like, it's so good. Normalize <laughs> saying that this product is way too expensive, way too overpriced. I bought it, like, kind of but right when it released and so I, um, I, there wasn't very, review, very many reviews out. After I used it, I thought for sure people would be like, oh my gosh, this product is horrible. Because it does, it, if you put too much of it on, it definitely starts to look patchy. I just think that the the finish of it is not as beautiful and like you know as flawless as some of my other ones are like um or even if they are they're similar so it's like why not buy the cheaper one you know what I mean so um I feel like Rare Beauty also is just better um anyway my, my point is that I thought for sure people were gonna be like oh my gosh this sucks and I've been seeing a couple people who really are excited about this love this and I'm like okay Okay. Um, I just wanted to mention these. These are the e.l.f. Primer Infused Blushes. I have the shade Always Rosy. So I think they, like, took these away, like, reformulated. I don't know why. <laughs> the formula is just okay. It is soft and nice or whatever. I just feel like these are just okay. Like, there are better blushes out there. The new NYX Butter ones are, oh my gosh, so freaking good. Like, you don't need this. Um, <laughs> and they claim to be like reform I don't know what they did I repack it I don't this not I think it's the same packaging I don't know what they claim to do with these but they took them away brought them back you could have just kept them away <laughs> they're not that special this is like a truly it's like this is formula reminds me of because I always reference this but like it's so stuck in my head they say like matte but not flat this is matte but flat like it just doesn't add much like it's just kind of there could be the shade I have but I also know that um you know like just of looking at the formula wise it's just very basic and very like you're just putting powder on your face like there's no really like it's not no really no real point to this elf makes amazing products like so many favorites i have from them especially recently i just feel like this was one i mean and they definitely didn't hype this up which is i'm, I'm glad about but i definitely think that like if you're looking for like cheaper bl blushes or you're like oh my gosh is this really whatever just pass just pass like you'll be better your collection you'll be better for it you'll <laughs> you're well i don't know how to, what is that saying i don't know but you'll you'll be okay without well, at least as far as complexion goes i don't know if this even counts as collection cheek um i wanted to mention these stupid super shock highlighters from the colourpop twilight collection look oh great this one's pink and this one's green like 
ColourPop. Like, they really pissed me off with this because I love Twilight. I love this collection. I think there's a lot of good components to it. There's a lot of things that, um, you know, are very Twilight-esque. I think when it came to the highlighters, why would it not be okay to just do a darker highlighter? I don't understand. I really don't. I genuinely don't think that anyone, if they released these highlighters, one was deep, one was light. I don't think any, I mean, people would complain, obviously, that um, I always say three is the magic number. If you're going to do the bare minimum, do three light, medium, dark. <laughs> obviously, it's still not going to suit everyone, but I feel like then you're at least trying a little bit. But, so of course, obviously, that's not going to work for everyone. But if they were going to like, okay, hey, we only have two in the budget, which is stupid. If, whatever, why would you not do like two different shades? These are basically the same shade. And I'm like, nobody would complain if like, um, oh, and that's not very Twilight-esque. Like, we know, we want, this is for me. I want, when I'm looking at collections and, like, very fun collections like Twilight, Harry Potter, all the fun ones, I want cute, on brand with the brand, um, on brand with, like, whatever they're do using, but also practical and wearable. So I'm like, I want to be able to use the product. <laughs> like, now I'm, I bought this and now it's going to sit there. And I guess they get what they, whatever, it's a cash grab. They get what they, they get their money for it, whatever. But I'm like, that's annoying because it's like, why would you not just, just make them different colors? It was so stupid to me. I love the Super Shock formula. Um, and the, this, that's what makes me mad too. The Harry Potter ones, they did the same thing. So they did three colors, two white colors that literally were, are similar to this. And then one that I can get away with. So I'm like, nobody deeper can get away with those. And I'm like, nobody's going to complain about the colors because we know that you want it to be inclusive and wearable. It makes no sense to me. <laughs> so I don't know. That was my thought about that. I'm like, what about Laurent, huh? <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway now the rest are all lip products so um let's just go with these because i'm holding them these are the summer fridays um dream lip oils i just feel like these definitely missed the mark in my collection but also just i feel like for a lot of people i think that they're okay they're not bad lip products i just think when you take something like so summer fridays they're known for their lip butter i mean summer fridays is a lot of skincare followers um, but I feel like just as far as people who love makeup and maybe they're not like skincare junkies, whatever. I know like even my sister, she doesn't even wear, um, that much makeup, but she knows the Summer Fridays lip butter bombs. Like we, it's, it's a thing. People know them. And like, um, I understand that like you obviously can't just come out with, keep coming out with lip butter bombs over and over and over again. But I just have to say like, why would you come out with them with a product, a lip product? Like why? Because there's not like, these are not for like the same, same shade, but it's just not needed. And I feel like that's the, the problem. If you were going to do it, you needed to make sure the formula was perfect. And I feel like the formula is just not the best. So this is the shade uh, Blush Dreams. This one I have the most trouble it with. So we have this formula. It is a very nice like lip oil kind of formula. But if they were going to do color, they had to make sure that the pigment, I don't know how, I don't know how it works when you're making it, but it goes on like uneven and splotchy. And so you have to kind of like work with it. It's kind of hard to get it looking even, but I'm like, do you want them to be pigmented or not? I don't know. I think the formula is a little bit, um, I don't want to say confusing, but it is confusing <laughs> because like, yes, it feels like very nice and very like lip oil-esque. Then you probably should have just made them like clear or sheerer because if you're going to give them so much pigment, then um, some more, something else had to give because the formula just doesn't look the best on the lips. I just, I don't know if that makes sense to anyone. I just feel like the formula is inconsistent in my head, in my opinion. Um, I just feel like, again, it's not on par with like summer fridays lip butter bomb standard again it's hard not to compare them because that's what they're known for so it's like um like yes these are not bad lip products but i have to say like for summer friday standard don't even bother don't even bother i really don't think this was supposed to be in here i'm pretty sure that this i just forgot to mention it in my favorites this is the summer friday's lip butter bomb in the shade birthday cake i really don't even think it's available anymore i like this it's not bad I love the smell of it, <laughs> um, and it has, like, a birthday cake shimmer to it. I like it. Um, it's not my favorite color, but I don't know why that's in here. It's definitely not the worst. This one is meant to be in here, though. This is the Summer Fridays um, Lip Butter Bomb in the shade Iced Coffee. Literally, <laughs> I thought, again, I was living on an island. So I, I, well, I'm like, thank you guys so much for all the views on my Summer Fridays Lip Swatch video, because obviously when this came out, people were still watching my video, and I'm like, guys, you guys are amazing. Um... 
because I did get to swatch this one because it came out in a set that I got for the holidays. So I got to swatch this one and so you can still see them compared to all the other ones um, at the time. I don't think, this one wasn't available then. <sighs> Maybe there's another, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> long story short, this one I had swatched then and I had just, I, I've been, ha I had it since the holidays. So like over six months that I've had and used this, well had and haven't used it because the scent is just way too strong. It literally, literally it gives me a headache every single time. And I saw the other day, um, I saw someone like comment like a, a, a review and they said the exact same thing. And I'm like, okay, good. I thought I was just like maybe sensitive or whatever, but it seems to be the consensus for people who are not a fan of this one obviously it's the very best like traditional um summer friday shade uh like formula i also feel like the color is so beautiful it's barely it's barely it's like a barely there kind of brown um and it just looks so beautiful it is like a and it's different than the other two like more brown shades in the the rest of the collection it's definitely a beautiful color i just i can't wear it because of the smell i'm like it does <laughs> it's really freaking strong and you'll smell it for a while like even just opening that that's the thing too, it's not like, it doesn't smell, <sighs> like if you make a fresh thing of coffee, it doesn't smell like that. It smells like almost like butterscotchy, kind of like caramel, like something like those kind of scents. That's what it smells like. And so it's not like, I don't know, it's just not my fave. <laughs> so I have to mention that. This one, honestly, it kind of smells like this. Oh my gosh, yeah, that's a great way, yeah, yes, 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 yep, yep, yep. <laughs> It's very similar to like the Summer Fridays Dulce, I'm sorry, the Tower 28 Dulce de Leche um, color. So that, I mean, to scent. So this one does smell stronger still. Um, but this one, I, I love, this is, this pisses me off. So this is the Tower 28, sorry, Lip Softy Tinted Lip Treatment. Again, I have to say a shade, shade Dulce de Leche. And I love this shade. I love the shade, love the shade name, love the vibe, love the scent. So much I love to this, except for this dumb applicator. Why? Why, why, why? Are we in the third grade? <laughs> it pisses me off. I get it. You don't want to be like other brands or whatever, but like their Tower 28 is unique enough that it would have been fine. I mean, I'm sure people would have been like, oh my gosh, but once they tried it, they probably would have liked it. Um, I don't know what I just said earlier. I liked, I have to say that sometimes when I put this on, it, there's like little grains in it. And I don't know if it's like... No, it's not my lips because I'll put on other stuff and it'll be fine. But sometimes there are little like um, pieces in it that feel like there's like food on your lips. And I'm like, what the heck is that? But it's every time I wear this. So uh, that also, I don't know if I said I love the formula. I love the finish of it. I just don't love the those like little grains. So I don't know what I just said. But I've heard, I, I'm, uh, what is it called? Amending that? I'm cutting, scratch that. <laughs> um, that's not my favorite. Obviously, I don't like that. But honestly, I'm gonna be like so 100 that honestly, if I, if the applicator was different, I probably would like just be fine with it. Because it's not every time, number one. Number two, um, again, the finish is so beautiful. Tower 28, for me, at least from the consistent, um, uh, from other, this is so pretty. I don't know why I just did it like that, but um, <laughs> consistent from the other lip gloss formulas. They're very like thin um, and very lightweight, which again, I appreciate. So there's a lot that I like about these and there's have definitely the had the potential to be amazing. I hate though. I hate this freaking lip thing. And then it's tinted. So then I'm like, I agree. I have color all over the place. This video did not need to be this long, but I just talked too much. And it's not my fault. Okay, last but not least, we have the Twilight Glosses. So, um, I'm actually wearing the red one today. And I was originally just, I wasn't going to talk about the red one because I knew that this one is actually nice. Um, and it's very on brand for Twilight, but also, like, very wearable. Like, this is exactly what I want. Obviously, it matches with the vibe. They're very sheer, which is super nice. But I'm like, a blue and a black. A blue and a black. Be so for real, Twilight. Be so for real, color pop. Like, be so for real. Who's using these? Nobody. And then I'm like, that's the thing. Like, yes. And that's the thing. It's not even like, oh my gosh, yes, this is so on brand for Twilight. Because it's not. Blue and black, where? I get it. Like, the, the scenes are like, you know, kind of dark, whatever. You could have chose any color. You could have chose any color. Slapped it on and called it Twilight. <laughs> you chose blue and black. You really chose blue and black. 
not even necessary not even necessary <laughs> at all <laughs> not one not even a little bit so that was basically why I'm like also like yes ColourPop wants to come out with lip colors blah blah blah, blah but they could have done like a like um, a lip liner lip liquid lipstick and then like a lip gloss or like the lip oil all in reds like they, there's options here that <laughs> we didn't need a blue and a black and I love this formula it's very lightweight very beautiful very comfortable a blue and a black shimmer a blue and a black shimmer yes they are very sheer so let me let me like not uh pretend like this is like you know like a black black liquid lipstick that would have pissed me off they are pretty sheer but like you can obviously see that that's black and then this one you can obviously see that it's blue so um who approved this obviously never has never seen twilight again yes you can make twilight work for like oh my gosh like i think her one dress is blue in the one scene i get it like you can make blue and black work for whatever but uh where was brown <laughs> you could have given me a lip a lippy in jacob's uh fur color you could have made anything work and you chose both in blue and black okay that said, guys, <laughs> I get too riled up when I talk about products I don't like. Um, and so I'm just being like, again, 100, don't come for me. If you don't have the same opinion, that's totally fine. Um, obviously, that's what the fun of, you know, makeup is that you get to try and you have your own opinions. And some products may <laughs> you may love that other people don't love. Um, and pro some products you may hate that other people love. Like, it's just, it, it, it's definitely very, um, what is the word? There's another word, but it's definitely very personal. Um, you know, and like, and that's okay. <laughs> like, it's okay. I just want to share with you about products I don't like because I talk a lot about products that I like, and I don't want it to seem like I'm saying here, spend money on this, 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 this. I don't want to in like encourage that behavior, <laughs> even though I do it, and I'm about to film a haul. <laughs> Um, I don't want to, like, I want you guys to know that there are products that I don't like. A lot of the times, if I, I'm, I, um, in my declutters, I do go over, like, oh, I didn't like this, or this looks bad, or whatever it is. So I try to make sure I'm mentioning products I don't like, but I do hate, like, there are some YouTubers I watch who hate everything. Everything is terrible, everything sucks. There are YouTubers I watch that love everything. Everything's beautiful, even if it's hideous on them. They're like, oh, well, you know, we can make it work this way. And you're kind of like, okay, please be for real. Like, stop just be honest with us with yourself like just be honest and so um I just th that was the point of this video <laughs> not to be negative Nancy and to dog on brands a lot of these brands I love a lot of products from that's why these products are so disappointing because I'm like I love you you have the potential to be great and you chose to be mediocre <laughs> and so again no hard feelings right <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that's it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys!